Hey friends, Diane Adkins here, your violin teacher. And today I wanted to make a quick video about all natural fingers. Now, I like to think of notes. This is just a little mini le uh, theory lesson. I like to think of notes as having a first name, a last name, and an address, just like people. So let's take, for example, the letter, the note C. C has C natural as a last name, C first name, last name natural, or it could have C sharp, that's another last name, and of course not C flat, but other notes have flat, as so it could be one of these three families of notes. Okay, uh, and so a lot of times we're so preoccupied with the sharps or flats of a key, but it's nice to know where all the fingers go down on the fingerboard, their address, where they live, in their natural state, okay? So I'm just gonna talk about that in first position today. And if we look at just the first finger in first position, here's where all the natural fingers occur. Straight across in your natural one position, starting on G, and then we get to E and we have to go down to the to the low uh, F natural, right? So if you can remember that, d regular ones all the way across except for E. That's all the natural fingers. On G, the one is A, and his last name is A natural. On D, it is E, okay? And you can think of it like this. If you just say the alphabet in your head, A, B, C, D, that's the D string, E is the name of the note. Okay, now on A, it's easy. What comes after A? B. That's the first finger. In its natural position, A natural, it's right there where you usually play on that regular one spot. If we play A flat, it's going to be down a half step. Okay, and this is really easily reinforced visually if you can get in front of a keyboard and look at the black keys and the white keys and see that the black keys are in groups of three and two, three and two. And in between those groups of black keys are two white keys that have no black key in between it. And every time that, that is a half step. Those two white keys have a half step between them. And those half steps occur only in two places. And we'll transfer that to the violin in just a second. But B and C is a natural half step and E and F are a natural half step. And that's why we have to play low one on E to get the natural one on E. Now if we look at the second finger and where it occurs in its natural state, it is G natural, that's low two, sitting next to one, G natural on the E, C natural on the A, F natural on the D, and on the G, it's a whole step from one, it's B. B and C. See that natural half step? C is the third finger. And there's a natural half step right there where the tips touch. All right, let's look at the, the next. We already covered E, F naturals, low, G, th threes thankfully all the way across are in the same place. No high or low fingers, just the regular three. And four is the same because it mirrors the open string. So the fours are a whole step from three all the way across in their natural state. So did you get that? There's only two anomalies, strange little things, and that is the E1 on the, one, the first finger low on E, and the two high or half step touching, tips touching with the third finger. And those are your natural fingers on the, on the violin in first position. So if you can memorize that, just reference this uh, video and you'll get a little reminder of the fingers in their natural positions.